What up, it's John, it's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, before you adjust your phone brightness or change your monitor settings, yes, I am Black Room playing a dirt bike game. Now, I'm here on SBN Barnyard, and I got my boy Curb, I got my boy Jay and Panda, and we're just going to get into it. We're going to just talk about life, talk about the track, talk about our feelings, get a little snuggled up, get a little weird. Wait, I said that out loud? Uh, what's up, guys? Mm. How are you? Doing? Mm, delicious. What's good? Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah on <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go ahead and get gates dropped. And uh, yeah, I just appreciate you guys just wanting to make some content with me and just fun times. All the time, bro. All the time. And so far, what are you guys' time, thoughts bro. on this track? Is it more 250 or 450 for you guys? Uh, I'll say 250. Oh, Jesus. You didn't see that. <laughs> nah, nah, I seen it. It was pretty nah, clear. You didn't, you didn't see that one. It was it was a little blurry because you were going so fast, but <laughs> no, nah, I seen it. I can't let you get close. Oh, Juju. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, we ran. We re we did this track for the elimination, and I was on the 450, and the 450 didn't feel like not bad. Like, but I think I enjoy ripping this and being wide open with it. 450. I mean, 250 instead of the four. I think I said that. Oh my god. Wait a second. Is this easy mode? <laughs> Just head out of the dirt. Let's go. Oh my god. Had to take that little time moment out to get that clip. I do apologize. <laughs> Set go mode. Oh my lord, I'm not doing I seen so that, high. Jay. I think this this section is like the biggest like I think this is the only section that you have to really like worry about. Only because like it's very hard to like I guess like get into the groove. Because really, if you're on a 250, you should be hitting the far right side in order to get to the groove, and then you shouldn't be taking the left side unless you're on a 450. What do you guys think about the sand section on here, though? No. If you don't it's make rough. that double, it's rough. Yeah. yeah. It's rough. Like, I don't even know what line to take here on the sand section. Dude, it's, I feel like the shadows really like hinder with me, especially like, on my here. reshade. Like, I, I, I'd be trying to look in there, and usually I'd be having my sunglasses on, and I'm like, dude, I can't see, like, worth a damn, like, where the rut is, dude, so. I'm free aiming. Yeah, type, type John, man. Free aiming. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes and hope for the best. Yeah. Also, I just want to say thank you guys for 3,200 subs. Um, literally hit 200 subs within less than a week of hitting 3K. That's huge, man. So up 200 subs already. We're going to be pushing for that 3,300. Thank you guys so much for the support. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for everybody that's been watching my shorts on that challenge against Skizzy for Oppos. Um, shout out to Jay, man. He's starting up his content. Shout out to Pandy, starting up his content. And it killers, man. I, I've been enjoying doing everything. And as anybody knows, man, I'm probably the most down to earth guy, at least in this community right now. I'm always here to help out another friend, another person that wants to be at my table eating. So once again, this is just another shout out to you guys being in here. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you, man. We appreciate yeah, appreciate you, you Daniel. Appreciate ya. Yeah, I think my biggest thing was uh, when I was coming up. It's almost like that. It's almost like that origin story of like no one was ever in your corner helping you out. But then you're like, man, like why would I ever try to like if I, if I always wanted somebody to throw me a little bone, and I felt like I had to do it all on my own. Why would I let anybody else have to go through the same like I guess struggle or challenge that I had to when I could literally give it a little bit more easier for you guys? Especially when like I realize that you know you guys mean you guys want to see me thrive. Why can't I not see you guys thrive? So Nah, we appreciate that shit for real. Oh, we you appreciate it, that. Yeah, you all good man, yeah. trust. But nah, we do make that, you make that beat. Well, That's just all about it, man. I think that's a huge thing is like a lot of people like look at uh youtubers numbers and like man he's got so much numbers like he must he must not be like necessarily a d head but like he won't help out the community or help out other people in need and and all that i just want to let you guys know man it's 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 a, i'm a people's person before i am a numbers person and like and just because i have three thousand subs on or growing and all that does not make me any less of a human or any less of a of a friend you know, like I think nobody understands. Like it doesn't matter like how big you get. You know, you never under, you never miss out on friendship, dude. You never know who's gonna be in your corner and who you need in your corner coming down the road. So, you know, you you take that with a grain of salt and understand. I I, I live my life at 120 <laughs> percent, and uh, 
that, that's the way I, I'm going to keep going. So I, I always encourage everybody in my corner to always do the exact same thing because no matter what, your content may flop, your your life may be flopping at the moment, but it's not the end of the road. It's not the end of the tunnel until that last beat, last breath where you literally cannot push anymore because like it's over, you know? So you, you, you got to give every yeah. day with 120, bro. Nah, and uh, as like repay, you know, we trying to repay you back as best as we can. That's why I kind of made that maze track for you too, man, just to show appreciation. Yeah, type John, man. And I love that, man. I, speaking of the maze track, we definitely need to try to try to work on making another one or get a hunter versus prey, bro. I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. Oh no. Yeah, no, the hunter. That, yeah. That's super fun. The hunter was super fun, and I, I, I think we just like, I think trying to get as much people as we can to like record their pov and put it in one i think that's so cool um because i think i think it was ethan or somebody said something about a super pole and i didn't know what that was but i think it's like where everybody tries to put down their burner lap it'd be better if like everybody had their pov pov instead of me like just watching them you know like you really get to see like how they're moving in their yeah, own true. aspect that'd be pretty cool too yeah like definitely like an mx or sx track Oh no, I'm moving. Ah. That section is so hard, dude. But yeah. Not right. in the line. I'm a little concentrated. Yeah, I felt that. Because this guy is barking. How is he, dude? Dude, he's Man. gone. I think, I think for my 700 hour video, dude, people were commenting like, dude, you'd probably be barking a little bit more if you didn't like focus on trying to talk and like try to race and talk content create. But I think I was happy with my progress in that video only because like, it wasn't like I was doing bad. Like I maybe was like, I probably was crashing once a lap and I was trying to work on maybe crashing every two laps. But for being at 700 hours in my first amateur race, I thought I did pretty okay coming at 12th. So I was all right with my timing. And you for sure would have got even better for sure. Yeah. But um, honestly, I feel like it all comes down to that controller. You, you, what it was it like the first 600 hours? Yeah, like my, the... my first, like, yeah, like uh, definitely from like two, like 150 to like, yeah, basically 150 to like, oh, whoa. basically like 150 <laughs> hours to like 600 hours, dude. I literally was using that freaking elite, I mean, that uh, scuff controller. So it definitely hindered me a lot to not understand uh, throttle control and just being able to do other stuff. Nah, but now you got the better controller and you, uh, you like became a lot better in such a short amount of time. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with my progress for sure. I feel like I couldn't ride the 450s and I really couldn't really maximize my speed in corners because I had to be either full throttle or no throttle. But now it's like I can at least be half throttle and all that good stuff. And it's like, Tied oh, that's down. so awesome, you know? That's that's huge. That's heavy. Like that's literally saving you a 0.5 of a second, and that's a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah, easily, easily. Just throttle control. Yeah. Yeah, because that's basically the most important thing. I feel like, I feel like the, what helped me was learning throttle control, and how I learned it was by uh, doing wheelies on this game. Oh really? And it, yeah, and it, that helped me with throttle control a lot. Yeah, for I'm me, dude, I was surprised. Go ahead, like, my actually got a. Oh, you're good. I was just gonna say, like, if you're trying to go fight, pin it in a corner, you mm. actually, you know what I'm saying? You actually gotta control it. That's, that kind of helps true. too. Yeah, like, and in, in order to like, I, I, I have seen that, like, literally try to like maximize your your corner speed, your corner this, like you you're supposed to do like half throttle and then try to push into that, so because you're like trying to at least grab that traction, you're trying to at least grab some traction and then be able to be able to rip. But like, if you can't do that, and you have to let off a good amount of the freaking I completely let off I think I'm literally like cruising and messing up I was like literally third I let Mason freaking catch me but yeah at least if you can grab some tra traction then you can go back up to full throttle and then you're good but before I just couldn't do that yeah even but, um what also used to help me was uh practicing certain amount or certain um how do you say like corner speed only Mm -hmm. And just like take the time to go to testing and practice the the solo skill. Yeah, man. Of like cornering and such. I feel like at times I feel like I have surpassed that that solo practicing, 
but dude, I see myself all the time going into solo and doing stuff. And, and, and what's crazy is that I actually feel like I don't have time with like my IRL life to now and being a yeah. content creator to like literally sit and practice for hours because I really can't. But I think what, what benefits me a lot is that I'm able to come on here almost every night, try to make content and or race all these different tracks. And it always gives me a different like out- outcome. And I always see myself improving. So that's huge. That's huge. Yeah, and for you're me. racing with super high skill yeah. players. Too. Like I'm racing yeah, against people that I can be like, okay, I can catch this guy. I can at least work on on catching this guy, and then I can like work on trying to get, uh, you know, like like you pass people, it's like, okay, cool, I I know I can catch this guy, and then you have other people, it's like, man, okay, I'm still like a second off the off the pace. What where where can I get this? Yeah, that's why I like racing against like higher, not I'm not gonna say higher rank, but faster guys that's riders yeah yeah because it i mean it helps you with so much and you don't even really notice it yeah you really don't and i i I, once again that's a shout out to everybody that's made it this far to the video i just want to say that's a huge shout out for everybody that comes through here that is really pro riders and i appreciate everybody that comes in here and now tries to like flaunt i should say like saying like yo i'm the fastest rider like like and then start talking crap on the rest of the community saying everybody's slow you know i appreciate you guys coming here showing your skills off but also like helping out the community because that's all we're about around here is everybody has their own set and pace of like literally trying to learn this game and we want to see this community grow not decimate that's i'm literally false neutral 100 percent. if i could add though like for people who are super super new to the game like zero hours just picking it up um don't be scared to to go on the rough tracks. Like, don't be scared to try Supercross. Like, don't don't just go run to those super easy tracks. I mean, you can, but me personally, one thing that's made me a lot better, even when I was on the sim, is just I always ran to what was tough mm-hmm. to yeah. get a hang of it. I think I think for starter kit, I might have to make a video on this, but I think for starter kit would be Forest Club, then then Washington. Cause I think four is just like dip your toes in. That should be your first 20 hours of just running straight laps on that track. And then it's like, okay, after that, now you're trying to, now you're trying to dip your toes in the club. Club's a, club's a fast paced track to where it's like, you know, people are running 59s, maybe close, low, low one minutes. And then you're also working on, you're also working on trying to get into that, that roller section, you know, counting your, being able to do doubles and all that. Like that's huge. Like that's something different. Understanding throttle speed, how much control. And then Washington's more tight tor- tight corners, sand, you know what I mean? I say those top three is what you're gonna really try to focus on. Oh, yeah. Hugely when you first get this game. So I might have to make a video on that, like top three top three tracks that if you're a beginner to MX bikes. But Jay, Panda, my boy Kerp Word. Thank you guys so much. And um, if you guys want to just do the honors, well, I'll catch you in the absolute next one. It's your boy IBS Kelso. Pa 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 pa. Peace. Peace.